Hey everybody, Bo here. Hey, check it out. You are looking at the outside of Rolling Thunder cabin on wheels. Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, uh, personalizing it. the outside. I have not done anything with the outside until uh, I kind of had a plan in mind. Now I do, and uh, we're going to put some graphics along the bottom, and then eventually on the top in between the rivets, there is going to be uh, like a gallery. I'm going to do images uh, in picture frames and kind of make the whole outside like a gallery of uh, photos, of images. Anyway, stick around. Spend a little time with Bo and uh, check it out. We are going to install some cool graphics. All right. Okay, a really easy way to spruce up the outside of your uh, RV, camper, it could be anything, it could be your vehicle for that matter, are uh, graphics, vinyl graphics. They're waterproof, uh, they don't ruin your paint, they go on fairly easy, and uh, they come in a tube, just like this. So, I ordered this. Ooh. It's 11 by 36. Now I didn't want to have to go over a rivet. There's always a rivet in between the space here. So you, about, you have about 11 and a half inches and about 46 inches to keep it in between. So this will fit perfect uh, right in here. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to get it in a tube. It's going to come in a tube like this. You want to take it out and lay it flat. Uh, you know, maybe put something on it just to flatten it out for a day before you try and install it. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of Windex to clean this off first. Some soapy water. This is just a couple drops of uh, liquid soap and soapy water. You're gonna need a uh, tool like this, uh, squeegee. You can use two credit cards, put a rubber band around them, use two. And if you uh, do the graphics, you wanna have like a micro cloth that you can wrap this in so it protects it when you go that way. Let's see, you are going to need masking tape and also a pair of scissors or X-Acto knife to cut the uh, back of the uh, film so you'll see that. So, first thing we're going to do is spray this all down. Off real good. Okay, so on this, you want to have some pieces ready just in case you need them. We're going to be doing the wet method and hinge. That's where you do it in the middle. You'll see what I mean. It makes perfect sense when you see it done. So first thing we are going to do is figure out where we want this. And it's pretty easy to do with the uh, rivets or screws so I'm gonna put that there put that there
pipes that were good there. This has got to come up. Okay, we're good. Okay, so we're going to take this in the middle. Also, you want to try and do this in the shade if you can. You really don't want the sun hitting it because it may dry it out too quick. And you want this to be, uh, you know, not hot to the touch. Also, I want to talk about color. The coolest color as far as temperature to keep your camper cool is white. Hands down. It's been tested over and over again and the white reflects. If you get a black camper, it's just gonna be a big oven. But they sure are pretty. All right. So now we're gonna do the soapy water. Make sure I have my squeegee. off. Easier said than done. You want to be real careful so that you make sure that the graphic sticks to the having problems with this sticking so let's see make sure that it got on here there we go Okay, so now we're going to want to spray this down with soapy water and then the back of the graphics as well. I like the wet method because you can move it around if you need to. So then we're just going to go straight up and down to get all the water out.
okay now we're gonna do the other side helps if you have nails need an assistant okay here we go now see I should have started from the top instead of the bottom because of this it's easier that this will not come off Well, I should have took that tape off, but there you go. So, that'll be fine now. We will spray that down real good. And spray this down. And you want to start from the middle and work your way out. And that water, just soapy water, comes right out. tell you something if I can do this you can do this that's how easy it is all right that is looking good So now I'm going to let this sit just a couple minutes and then we're going to peel it off. Okay, here we go, the big reveal. You want to pull it at 180 if you can.
a little more difficult than I thought. There's all these nice little edges kept coming off. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to wrap this. All right, well, there you have it. Graphic number one. Okay, this one I am going to do the dry method. It has a lot of little speckles and uh, I think this one needs the dry method so that it doesn't move around. This one I got from Jade Decals, Jenny. She does custom work. I will put the link down below. Uh, she's fantastic to work with and uh, I've been waiting for this one, so I'm going to put another one there eventually next year, and then uh, it's just going to be more and more graphics. Did what you're not supposed to do. Supposed to go up and down, up and down. Success. All right, I've seen people use a heat gun on this also. I'm going to let this sit here for about 10 minutes and then we're going to peel it off. I did get a few dots, but there's still plenty, so it's still going to look good. All right, the moment of truth. Make sure you pull it off at 180 like that. Oh, yes. Come on, birds.
Jenny was nice enough. She sent me that custom. She sent me this paw. Hello, paw. Oh, yeah. I'm loving it. All right. One side down. Part of the half of the back. And, uh... Waiting for one more graphic to come to get the uh, other side done. Well, there you have it. Hey, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, check out the links below. I'll point you some some cool graphics. And uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, see ya!